UNHCR has this week completed a first delivery of winter emergency relief to the Azaz area of northern Syria, where thousands of internally displaced people are living in makeshift camps. 200 metric tons of tents and blankets, to be precise, 15,000 tents and 3,000 uh, tents, was airlifted last weekend from UNHCR central warehouses in Copenhagen, Denmark, to a civilian airport near Latakia on the Syrian coast. From there, it was transported by road in an eight-truck convoy to an area between Aleppo and the Syrian-Turkish border. In neighboring countries, the refugee numbers have continued to grow this week, and 728,000 Syrians are now either registered as refugees or awaiting registration. This number comprises 237,000 in Lebanon, 227,000 in Jordan, 163,000 in Turkey, 79,000 in Iraq, 14,000 in Egypt, and 6,000 in North Africa. It is an appalling situation in Syria today, appalling. And all these figures probably are not capturing the true story of how Syria, the people, but also Syria, the country, are facing systematic destruction. A UN interagency mission to the Western Syrian Governorate of Homs, in which UNICEF took part, found that 420,000 people, half of them children, were in need of urgent humanitarian assistance. According to partners, almost one in three people in Homs is a displaced person, and about two-thirds of the displaced are below 18 years old. The Homs mission found that out of some 1,500 schools, around 200 have been damaged as a result of the fighting, and around 65 are now hosting displaced families. Across Syria, one in four schools has been damaged or destroyed, or is being used as a shelter for the displaced.